Hi, this is Mr. West, and you are watching a tutorial video on multiplying by two. And this, of course, is from mathdrills.com. There'll be a link in the description below if you want to check it out. Tons of great resources there, including lots of times tables worksheets. And we're doing the number two today. Now, with the number two, I want this to be known that first we got to understand what it's talking about. So if we're talking about multiplication in general, we're talking about groups of numbers, okay? It could be things or people or whatever we're talking about. We're talking about different groups. So this would be read two groups of two. So we'd have a group here, a group here. Those are two groups, one, two. And then there's two things in both those groups. And the total, we would just see how many total things we have by adding. So two plus two, we'd get four. There's four total things, two times two, is four. Now, a couple notes about the number two, so you know that we're multiplying by two with all of these. It can be either top or bottom. The total goes beneath this line, okay? And then you'll notice that if you multiply by two, you're always going to have an even number, okay? And that's because if we're talking about even numbers, we're talking about all the numbers have a pair, a buddy, okay? So everything has a pair. Now, if we multiply by two, we're essentially meaning if we have uh, two in each group, that means everybody's going to have a pair, okay? If you and another person, that means you you have a pair. If you have an odd number, for example, if you have nine people total, well, that would mean someone would be on their own. We'd have one, one, that's two, four, six, eight, and then this person would be by themselves. But when you multiply by two, you're always going to guarantee that you have an even number. So that's just a trick to keep in mind, okay? Uh, it's something to know that you can kind of do a self-check here. But let's go ahead and move on to another one. I want to move on to five times two, and this one's going to be five groups of two. Okay, so essentially what we're going to do here is we can have more groups. So we have one, two, three, four, five. There's five groups, and in each group, we're saying that there's two things, okay? And when we do this, we get 10. Five times two, there's 10 total things, okay? Some of these smaller uh, single-digit numbers, like fives all the way through nine, you're going to have to memorize, okay? You're going to have to memorize those ones. Well, some of these other ones, there's a little bit of trick of these two-digit numbers. You think it's hard, but it's really not that bad. For example, 12 times 2, what we can do is we can take it one step at a time. We're going to find what 2 times 2 is. Okay, What is double? That's another way of saying times 2. Is What is double of 2? And that's 4. And then what we're going to do is we're going to find out what 1 times 2 is. Well, 1 times anything is just going to be whatever that number is. So we're just going to do... 2. One group of 2. Double 1 is 2. And we just write those two numbers next to each other, and it's 24. The same thing with 11. 11 times 2. We're just going to double 1. Okay, and this was the first one. Double 1. And then we're going to double this one and write the number next to it, and it's 22. So it's just doubling all these numbers. And it doesn't matter if we have the 2 written on the top or the bottom. It's still the same principle. Now, I really want to find... We did this one right here, this 5 times 2. Okay, let me erase these just so we can focus on what I'm talking about. We have 5 times 2, and we said that was 5 groups of 2. Well, what if we have 2 times 5? That means 2 groups of 5. Is that the same thing? So we have 2 groups this time, but now in each group, there's more. There's 5 in each group. It's still going to be an even number because we could pair up 5 times. Okay, but how many is the total? It's 10. It's the same thing, even though the the, uh, the order is a little bit different, okay? So with all these numbers, we're just going to be doubling. Oh, here's a two-digit uh, number. So we multiply 2 times 0. That's just 0. And then we do 2 times 1, and that's 2. So that's 20. We're just doubling all these numbers, okay? So 14, 12, uh, 12, same thing. So if you're thinking, oh, man, there's 6 times 2 and 2 times 6, well, you know one of them you know both, okay? So that's another way that you can expand how many numbers you know. 2 times 7, 7 times 2, it's the same thing. It's 14, okay? So that's a way we can quickly expand how many multiplication facts we know. Hopefully you guys enjoy the uh, the twos tables, okay? You got to, it's a definitely a baseline for understanding. Make sure you master that. Uh, and if you have any other questions, make sure to leave a comment. I'll be sure to help you on this or any other math topic. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.